Hey guys, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to MBBS Study Channel. Today we are going to discuss another one newly synthesized mediator during the inflammation that is occur due to the activation of kinin system. Okay, let's now read about the bradykinin or the kinin system activation. So friends, uh, during the process of inflammation, there are certain kinds of mediators that are formed and in, during that process, a plasma mediators that are formed during the inflammation is the bradykinin and that comes under this kinin system activation. Let's read about this topic. We are going to begin this topic with a very important question that which is the most important kinin that plays an important role at the time of inflammation? Yes, it is the bradykinin and that we are going to read about the bradykinin how it is formed and what are its function during the process of inflammation. So first of all, activation of kinin system occurs when there will be injury of the blood vessels. How come this injury takes place? Due to the negative charge effect of collagen or the endothelial cells uh, injury, it will be affecting the vessel and due to that, the injury will take place in the blood vessels. During the inflammation condition, as the many mediators will be released, they will try to dilate the vessels, they will try to affect the endothelial cells and during that procedure, this injury of the blood vessel will take place. And this blood vessel injury will stimulate the next process, the activation of a coagulating system that is activation of Hegman factor. Hegman factor is nothing but the coagulative factor number 12. It will be activated as 12A and this coagulative factor 12A will be further activating the pre that is present in the blood vessels and the, in the plasma to form the calicrine. So here you see that due to the affection or due to the injury of the blood vessel, we are going to see this calicrine. And this calicrine has special function like it will increase the activity of complement activation. As we know that the complement activation can help in the process of phagocytosis by opsonization. They can initiate the process of inflammation. Okay, so the calicrine also act as a mediator that will be increasing the activity of the complement system. And this complement that is mostly activated is C5A protein. Next, it will be converting the plasminogen, free plasminogen to plasmin. And as we know, the plasmin is important for causing the fibrinolysis activity. Next, this bradykinin will be formed during the process of inflammation through the help of the via this calicrine. This calicrine will be converting the kininogen that are present in the liver protein into a calicrine mediators that is bradykinin. Now the bradykinin will be formed in presence of the calicrine due to the breakdown of this kininogen. Now we are getting the bradykinin. So when the question comes during the process of inflammation, what is the most or the, what is the most important kinin that is released that is bradykinin. So blood vessel will injure calicrine will be produced and that will take place or that will be causing the breakdown of kininogen to cause or uh, the release of bradykinin. Now let's see what is the function of bradykinin. If this during the process of inflammation this bradykinin is being produced then what are its function? It will be helping in the vascular permeability. The function can be divided according to two subcategory. It will be affecting the blood vessels and the tissues in the lungs. So first, when we are going to see in the blood vessels, it will increase the permeability. As we are talking about the inflammations, all those mediators will increase the permeability. They will try to alter the effect of alteration. Okay, the injury, they will try to compensate the injury. So they are going to increase the vascular permeability. So this bradykinin also have the same function of increasing the vascular permeability. Next comes the important that is it will be causing the pain. How come it will cause the pain? It will be activating the peripheral nervous sensitization. It will be increasing the nerve sensitization and that will lead to pain sensation. In case of lungs, what will happen? There will be increasing in the vasodilation in the vessels 
also increasing in the smooth muscle contraction. So bradykinin acts as a special mediator in the lungs that is responsible for increasing in the smooth muscle contraction. Now let's see what is the effect of this bradykinin in the lungs and why we are concentrating the words lungs and bradykinin. What is the relation? We are going to see these relations under this top, under this category that bradykinin metabolism. If the bradykinin is normally produced in a physiological or in a kind of pathological condition, then it should be metabolized. And for this metabolism, an uh, important factor that is required is angiotensin converting enzyme. This bradykinin will be broken down by this angiotensin converting enzyme and will be forming its metabolites. But as we have read in RAS mechanism, renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanisms, this ACE or angiotensin converting enzyme have its function. What is its function? To convert the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. And this angiotensin 2 will be further producing or increasing the number of aldosterone in the RAS mechanism. And as we know, this aldosterone production, as it will be increasing, what is the function? It function its function is to increase the process of vasoconstriction and it will be stimulate the increasing of the blood pressure. So that is the reason why this RAS system gets activated. But it is a contraindicatory because this bradykinin in the process of inflammation it causes vasodilation and ACE converting enzyme also required for the metabolism of bradykinin. Also it has one more function that is conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. So in case of hypertension patient when we are give, going to give the angiotensin converting enzyme to prevent the increasing in the blood pressure we don't want to increase the blood pressure in the hypertensive patient so we are giving the angiotensin converting enzyme blocker in that condition what happens the bradykinin will not break because it will be blocked by this drug and when it will be blocked so this amount of bradykinin will increase and when the amount of bradykinin will increase then it is going to perform these actions so when these actions will be formed then it's going to form this clinical manifestation. So what are the clinical manifestation we are going to see when we are going to give angiotensin converting blocker in a hypertensive patient? We are going to see the dry cough and angioedema. So this was all about the kinin system. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.